Inside 2022 Bentley Continental GT in depth review. The new 2022 Bentley ensure you zeal through its amazing outlook and of course the input speaks for itself. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Although it's designed to make you feel like you've arrived, the 2022 Bentley Continental GT is also a great car and making the journey memorable. The GT stands for Grand Touring and the Conti's cabin is truly grand, pampering its occupants with fine leather, gorgeous wood and handsome metal trims mixed with modern technology. Plentiful amenities and enough cargo space for those who wouldn't deem to pack light. Both a cab and convertible are offered as is a high performance speed variant. The Continental GT boasts a well-balanced chassis with just the right amount of athleticism for Tweety Canyon roads along with a smooth ride. All of this greatness comes at a steep price, but the six-figure outlay only serves to enhance Bentley Continental's GT curb appeal. A higher performance speed model rejoins the Continental GT lineup for 2022 and powered by a 650hp version of the WARS W12 engine, updates to the chassis to improve agility. Among those new handling enhancers are rear wheel steering and a torque vector rear differential. The speed also sports special styling features including speed badging, unique 22 inch wheels, microfiber interior upholstery, and optional carbon fiber dashboard trim. A new black line specification through Bentley's Millionaire Customization Department is now available and provides darkened exterior and interior trimmings for a sleeker look. Models the Continental GT V8 Kelp. Bentley's V8 is finely polished. Curiously, we prefer the least expensive of the Continental GT's Ford Jam of an engine that gives a touch of peak horsepower to a W12 but makes for a Kelp that's every bit as quick and agile in real-world conditions. It's only at very high speeds that the W12 engine's increased horsepower makes a difference. And while we like the wind in our hair as much as anyone, we choose the cow because the arcing roofline ties together the car's style so elegantly we find it irresistible. Updated versions of the existing V8 and W12 engines that powered the previous generation Continental GT provide muscle car performance. Our testing of the older model revealed that the V8, which makes 542 horses, can launch the cow to 60 mph in 3.4 seconds. The more expensive W12 engine produces 626 horsepower in non-speed models and can motivate a cow in 60 mph in 3.3 seconds. The same engine has been tuned up to 650 hp in the speed model and we estimate it can reach 60 in as little as 3.1 seconds. Both engines use an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission that snaps off quick but smooth gear shifts. Customers can order the cab or convertible with either engine, and all Continental GTs come with an all-wheel drive system standard. When a twin-turbo V8 is the most fuel-efficient offering in a particular model, you know that efficiency is not top of the mind for the car maker or its customers for that matter. The EPA rates the Continental V8 at 16 mpg city and 26 highway. In our real-world testing, we averaged 28 mpg in a V8 model in our 200 miles highway fuel economy test. We expect a luxurious cabin from anything wearing the Bentley badge, and this two-door is no different. The interior is swathed in aromatic leather and fine wood veneers and nearly everything about the Continental GT is customizable, for a price of course. Bentley's designers thought everything through and each time behind the wheel reveals a surprising detail, such as expertly knurled control knobs and double-stitched diamond pattern seat trim. Although the Continental GT technically has seat belts for four occupants, we'd suggest you avoid using that rear seat for howling adult-sized people since its leg and headroom are both limited. In our testing, we were able to fit five carry-on suitcases in the Continental's trunk, plenty of space for a weekend away with your favorite travel companion. A 12.3-inch infotainment display dominates the center of the dashboard. It's part of a unique three-sided rotating unit that also includes a panel with three small analog gauges for exterior air temperature, time, and compass heading, and a third side that shows nothing but matching instrument panel trim. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability are standard, as is a digital gauge display that allows the driver to manage most of the Continental GT's functions using controls on the steering wheel. The Continental GT offers two optional audio systems, a Bang & Olufsen arrangement 
and a spectacular name system. Rather than put mileage limits on the Continental Duty's standard warranty policies, Bentley covers everything for three years regardless of how far the car is driven. The company also provides the first maintenance visit with their compliments at one year or 10,000 miles. There's a key point in Bentley's time that we can call BC, that is, before Continental. So vital was the first Conti GD, not only for sales but setting a template and tone for the whole brand, that you could easily argue that were it, not for the two-door cab, Bentley might very well not be with us today. The most successful luxury car of modern times, quite probably. And now it's into its second generation. Still the focal point for the whole brand, embodying what a Bentley is while the Bentayaga SUV makes the big bucks elsewhere in the range. It's a handsome thing, the new Conti GD, at least in profile, where the front wheels have been shifted forward to improve the weight distribution and drop the engine lower and further back in the chassis. In fact, 55% of the weight still sits on those front wheels, but there's less of it than before. The body alone is 80 kg lighter, helping the new Conti GD weigh only 2244 kg. But Bentley has made no secret of fact that a heavy curb weight actually helps deliver the road crashing stability and momentum that characterizes the way its cars drive. They're knowingly hefty things. There are two engines to choose from, cheapest is V8, a 4-liter twin turbo offering up to 550 bhp, a 4 seconds 0 to 62 mph time and 198 mph top speed. Another 11 grand upgrades you to the big boy 6-liter W12 engine. Basically two V6s on a common crank, it's carried over from old Conti Albat modified enough for Bentley to declare it the most advanced 12-cylinder engine in the world. It features cylinder shot of under light loads while also producing 626 bhp and a thumping 664 lb feet of torque from a mere 1350 rpm, maintaining that through to 4500 rpm. Performance is better, 0 to 62 mph takes 3.7 seconds and its top speed is 207 mph. Both versions powering all four wheels through an 8-speed gearbox and should you feel like behaving in cowardly via launch control system. Now you probably need to up your budget for another upgrade past 200,000 pounds and into the arms of Continental GD Speed. This model has existed in the Conti's previous life and it served up, no surprise, a more briskness. Only now Bentley has given it a whole character of its own, the addition of four-wheel steering, a new electronic limited speed differential, and a much greater rear torque bias for the AWD system make this the sportiest and supposedly driftiest GD yet. It gets a 650 bhp tune of the W12 engine. Back to the base of the range, standard specifications include full metric LED lights, a 12.3 in the center touchscreen, Wi-Fi, head-up display, night vision, a 650 watt stereo and 21 in wheels. Pricing starts at around 150,000 pounds, but in this indirect competition with the likes of the Aston Martin DB11 and Porsche 911 Turbo or the new kid on the block Ferrari Roma if you're really pushing the yacht out. Because you won't be spending 150,000 pounds, you'll be spending much more, getting the stitching to match your shoes, the wood to match the office in your third home, and so on. This is a car made for the B-Spunk treatment. Bentley has given customers what they demanded, a more athletic, sporting, rapid, capable Continental GD. In the areas owners obviously care most about, performance and handling. It's night and day better than the old one. The 48V electronics, longer wheelbase and air suspension of broad crispness to the dynamics and allow the car to cop admirably with a huge increase in straight line performance. Comfort and relaxation may have slipped perhaps 5%, but dynamism is up 50%. The most importantly, that ability and behavior suits the Bentley Continental GD well. It has a dozen or more rivals in the weirdly busy 150 to 200k thousand cab sector, but no one of them swallows distance with the charming swagger of the Bentley, even the full board GD speed. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to Latest Luxury Cars channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for more videos like this.